Hey everybody, I am here to do a quick video on how to identify some harmonies on a very well-known and well-loved song called Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Some of you may have seen my previous video, it was a Fleetwood Mac song called Dreams, and I helped dissect the harmonies from that song. So I wanted to do that with this one today because it's super easy and quick, very simple. The chorus is the only spot where these harmonies are happening. And as you may or may not know, Ain't No Mountain High Enough has been done by a few different people, but I'm using the one by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. So that's a duet. Now, Tammy Terrell sings the melody. So when we listen to this chorus, and I'm only gonna play the chorus, you're gonna hear her voice right on top, and that is the melody. And then you're gonna hear Marvin Gaye's voice just underneath. Now there can be a third harmony, which you probably won't hear in this, but I'm gonna help you learn it anyway, because if you're ever in a cover band or a situation where you wanna be harmonizing, it's good to have options for harmonies. Now, you definitely wanna put Marvin Gaye's harmony in there because it's a duet, it's a nice tight harmony. You always wanna keep your harmonies tight. The further away they become, I'll explain that more, but the further away they get from one another, the less good it sounds. That's the best way I can put that for now. So you'll hear that her melody and his harmony are just riding very close together, which is what we want. So let's take a listen to a snippet of the chorus, listen for her voice, which is the melody, and then also listen to his voice, and then I will let you know what exactly that harmony is. There it is. That's all we need to hear. So you hear her voice going, ain't no mountain high enough, right? And then his voice is, so if she's singing this note, he's starting on this note, da, da, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, right? So he's doing that and you have options here, whether you're a male or female singer, depending on your range, you can sing his part, right? Even if you're like a female singer, I, I was able to sing his part just fine. So depending on, you know, how your band is set up, you can, you can choose to sing melody or harmony here. But I also want to show you the third harmony really quickly as well. But again, let's take a listen one more time to the chorus and take a listen to his part, right? A lot of times, before we do this, a lot of times people struggle hearing harmonies because they hear just a wall of sound and they have trouble isolating the different voices. This takes time and practice. Just like you would be listening to any of the instruments, when you're listening to a song, you hear things like drums, which is not the same as guitar, which is not the same as keyboard or saxophone. So those are very distinct sounds or voices that you can isolate in your mind. And you want to start practicing that first, because that's the easiest way to do it. It's like, oh, okay, I hear drums. I can identify drums. I hear guitar. I hear what that sounds like. With voices and harmonizing, a lot of times people have a hard time distinguishing the difference. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is the easiest thing, and that's identifying the melody, which we already did. Tammy Terrell is singing the melody. So let's hear that chorus again and then i will help you identify marvin gaye's part and sing it with him and then feel free to sing along with us that way you can get it ingrained into your brain here we go so he sings ain't no mountain high enough ain't no valley low enough ain't no river wide enough and that's it that's it. And then they sing in unison, which means the same notes at the same time. So there you go. You can always rewind this video and sing that part a lot if you're trying to learn Marvin Gaye's part. Now, I like to add, because I have a band, I like to add a third harmony. And I feel like sometimes I can hear it, but it's very much, dis it's indistinct. It's in the background. So the third harmony you could add a lower voice. So if you're in a band and someone's already singing Marvin Gaye's part and you want to add a third harmony, the third harmony would be, ain't no mountain high enough. See how that's lower? So she's singing this note, ain't no mountain high enough. Marvin Gaye's singing, ain't no mountain high enough. That's still high. 
but not quite as high. And then just a little bit lower is, ain't no mountain high enough, right? So let me back it up again, and I will add that harmony so you can hear how that sounds. Here we go. simple. It's like da, 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 da. it's three notes. Ain't no mountain high enough. So again, feel free to rewind, sing with my voice on any one of these, whether it's the melody, Marvin Gaye's part, or that third harmony that I added in. And you got yourself a beautiful three-part harmony for a very fun song. Um, so this is all you cover band people out there that you're trying to figure out the harmonies. This one's for you. So I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of this. And if you have any other suggestions or requests for songs that you're trying to figure out the harmonies on, I am more than happy to help because I find this stuff to be fascinating and fun. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and I can't wait to do more.